Hello! Today, we're going to go over how to configure a Gmail inbox. First, click on the Settings gear, and then click on the Configure Inbox option. Now, you'll see a list of tabs that you can choose from. Gmail automatically has the capability to assign labels to certain types of messages. As you can see here, it knows how to identify social, promotional, updates, and forum messages. But you can choose which types of messages you want to filter. Now you can just stay with your primary tab, or you can add these individual tabs below. I'm going to select all of them, and also select the Include Starred Messages in Primary. Now, you can see that our inbox has automatically been sorted into several tabs. The primary tab contains all messages that can't be automatically filtered into these other categories. When you click on Social, it will contain messages from social networking sites primarily. Under Promotions, you'll possibly see newsletters or promotional emails from other companies you've signed up with. Updates will have all the messages that you may receive from various sources, including document or sheet notifications, or updates from other applications you might use on your domain. If you're a member of any forums, forum emails will appear under the Forum tab. This style of inbox also includes some other functionality. If you right-click a message, you'll see that you can assign it to any of your existing tabs. You can also archive or delete messages from this menu as well. You can also drag and drop messages into the various tabs, so you sort of have your choice on how you want to organize your mail. If you find you don't use certain tabs, you can go back to configure and remove a tab. Now if this inbox style isn't for you, click on the gear icon and choose settings. Then you can go into inbox and select the type of inbox you were using previously. A quick warning though is that this style of inbox doesn't necessarily work well with the multiple inboxes lab and can make it difficult to revert back to the original view needed to implement that lab. So if you prefer to use the multiple inbox lab, you may want to leave your inbox as it is for the time being. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.